You were telling me the story about your grandfather who served in World War I, and you go back to those times when there was no such thing as freeze drying, but canning was a very big thing. And so a lot of people that grew up maybe working with their grandparents or their parents in learning how to can uh, all of these vegetables and fruits are turning to freeze drying now because obviously it lasts longer on the shelf and it just tastes better. Our grandparents bottled and canned everything. They dehydrated things. Some of my favorite memories were the cherries from the cherry tree that my grandmother had and she would can them just for me because I love sour cherries on ice cream. <laughs> so today in my yard I have sour cherry trees planted and they are just as good freeze dried as they are canned and bottled like my grandmother used to do. What's most impressive to me is first of all the nutrition is locked in. We know that. The flavor is locked in but the texture of the food even 25 years later is going to be just like it was the day you freeze dried it. Oh, it is. It's remarkable. I mean, if you look at things like these apple slices, um, th th they're just beautiful. And you could never buy freeze dried food like you could prepare at home. If you'd like to find out more about these amazing home freeze dryers, go to their website, harvestright.com, and we'd encourage you to look at all of the many videos that are available there with great ideas on how you can use it, how you rehydrate all of this fantastic freeze dried food, and how this machine can benefit you and your family and give you a little peace of mind in your home.